welcome back to my film and TV channel. Hope you're all staying safe and well. And we've got a dark comedy drama series. It's been available for a little while, but it took me a little time to get round to this one. It's been available for about a month, I think, or so on Netflix. So we're going to look at something called Beef. Yes, just Beef. B-E-E-F, Beef. So please, if you are new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications. Great to have you on board. Everything film and TV, of course, uh, streaming series, films, information, vlogs, reviews, lots of different things. So it'd be great to have you on board. I've just recently passed through 3,000 subscribers as I'm recording this. So any help in uh, getting me to the next 3,100, the next target, uh, would be much appreciated. And please, if you are pushing buttons, give us that little thumbs up, guys. It's, I'm trying to get a minimum of 10 likes for these vlogs. It's uh, sometimes a little bit more difficult than others. But uh, if you can help me towards that, I'd be very grateful. Yes, beef, 10 episodes by about... What, 33 to 38 minute episodes? They do vary. And it's a mini series created by Korean director Lee Sung Yin for Netflix. But don't worry, it's all in English. Don't worry, it's not a subtitled or a dubbed one. It stars Stephen Yoon and Ali Wong. Also stars Joseph Lee, Young Mazina, David Koei, and Patty Yasutaki. And as at the 26th of April 2023, 11 a.m. UK time, Rotten Tomatoes audience quite like it 86% positivity. Internet movie database 46,000. That's how slow I am getting this to you guys. 46,000 people have already left scores and reviews. And it's scoring an average of, impressive, 8.2 out of 10. All episodes of Beef were released on Netflix on April the 6th. So as I'm recording this on the 26th of April, 20 days late. My apologies. What's it about? Well, a near accident in a parking lot turns two strangers into enemies. The tit-for-tat relationship that develops leads to escalating acts of revenge as Amy and Danny learn about each other's identities and families and become more and more involved in each other's lives. What about the critics? What are they thinking? Well, the critics like it with no breakdown at all it's just a, a standard figure but 98 percent of the critics and there was 98 of them 98 of those 98 critics 98 percent uh were positive uh, so that's all good an average rating of an impressive for rotten tomatoes 8.4 out of 10 the consensus of the website says Ali Wong and Stephen Yoon are a diabolically watchable pair of adversaries in Beef, a prime cut comedy that finds a pathos in pettiness. Okay, Metacritic, the other site we'll look at, just 33 critics, but again, very, very positive. 86 out of 100 on those uh, 33 critics on Metacritic. Right, now for my views. Yes, I'm, I'm not as infused, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I'm not a total down on it. I did, uh, I'm did. i going to mark this 6 out of 10, so I did like it. It's definitely watchable. I'll explain a little bit if I can before, before we finish this vlog. Uh, if it was Rotten Tomatoes, I would give it a fresh rating. And, of course, the Metacritic would have to be a, a positive rating with a score of 6 out of 10, of course it was. I like beef. I did I did like it. I like beef, but I'm not going to rave over it like many are. The first episode was interesting, and it did build from there. But at times, over 10 episodes, even though they're only 30-odd minutes long, it just felt a little bit too long for me. I think... Uh, about six would have probably been better, a bit tighter, made it a bit more of an interest story, uh, interesting story. So a lot of filler. The characters are okay. There's three or four characters that are sort of investable, some not so much. And the dark humour, which there is in this, as you'd expect, it's trying to be a little bit quirky. The dark humour in this, for me, uh, mainly failed to hit home. It didn't It didn't make me smile or, or sort of uh, make me laugh or, or whatever the dark humour side of it. it didn't quite... So it's reasonably, reasonably quirky, but it does struggle. It tries to be clever. I think it tries to be clever and it's not quite as clever as it aims to be. I think I've seen this sort of thing done over over many different series recently you know you talk you, you sort of classics like fargo the series of fargo stuff like that uh, that you I sort of look at that and compare this to that sort of genre and it, it, it tries to be clever but it's not as clever as it thinks it is but many are saying it is because they're giving it high scores uh, not for me I, I enjoyed it i thought it was okay but i'm not going to rave over it in any way whatsoever so uh, let me know what you think guys It'd be great to know what you think of this series as i say it's uh, started really well some good bits in it but overall 
perhaps wasn't enough in 10 episodes to get rave reviews well from yours truly anyway thanks for watching guys until we meet again last one thing don't I? please stay safe everyone bye for now